Thank you, Mr. Speaker. From the moment that the euro crisis struck, the leaders of the EU have been asking the wrong question. They've asked themselves, how do we save the euro, rather than how do we rescue the people who have to use the euro? It's now obvious that the single currency is a recessionary mechanism. And by sustaining it in the way that they are, the leaders of the EU and in the palaces and chanceries of the member states are inflicting preventable poverty on the peoples of the Eurozone. This is obvious, not least in your country, Mr. President, one which, as you know, I admire very deeply. There are uh, many opportunities to Spain in a clean default, a decoupling and a reissuing of a more competitive currency. But that debate isn't even being contemplated because people begin from the proposition that the euro is uh, an end in itself, a, a, an absolute imperative. A result of this is that, I'm afraid to say, the leaders of the EU are now consciously working against a recovery because they know that although Spain might begin to take off the day it left the single currency, their own credibility would not recover.